What's up everyone, it's Roger here, FanDizKingdom.com. A quick update for you guys on Universal and Nintendo working together to build some new experiences at their parks. Now this, um, they released a new video showing off um, different aspects of it. It's kind of not really going into too much detail, just saying they're going to be building new immersive areas. There's going to be attractions, there's going to be restaurants, there's going to be shops, there's going to be great big areas based around Super Mario. There'll also be some other Nintendo things in there. And this kind of brings over from the Disney side of things because... While Nintendo may be seen as just a video game and there's going to be a large portion of the audience going, I don't understand it, it's a video game, why are you building a new area and a whole new place? You know, we're going to be kind of seeing like a Star Wars land, Harry Potter kind of experience added there. For me personally, I'm a big Nintendo fan. I grew up on Nintendo. I've played Nintendo since I was a kid and Mario is just as big a character it to me and a lot of people um, as well and so the whole Nintendo brand is huge and this is going to impact Disney on a couple of different ways basically having new attractions at either of their parks affecting the US one and also in Japan means it's going to be strong competition and it's going to keep pushing forward obviously Disney are going ahead with this Star Wars land and they keep adding new content but Nintendo coming in with an entirely fresh IP I'm um, refreshing everything giving new ideas and kind of changing things up a bit and Nintendo are they're one of the key players. And they're also starting to work with a lot more different companies now. You know, they're not just solely out on their own. And like I said, this video does really go into too much detail of what's coming. They haven't really announced any, any of the rides, any of the attractions, other than there's just going to be an immersive experience. And it's going to include Mario. But I do think that Disney are going to have to keep an eye on this. They're going to have to compile it. Obviously, the Star Wars land is going to be a big attraction. And they keep building new content. They're obviously planning on doing some major upgrades to Epcot over in Walt Disney World soon. But I do think that this new Nintendo area is going to be a new force to reckon. It's also going to attract... A couple of different different audience because you're going to have people maybe my age that grew up with Nintendo in the 80s and the 90s that now are taking they're going to be taking their kids there and they're going to recognize it. But you're also going to have kids growing up that have been you know it's Mario's been around since the 80s so therefore he is just an established character now established brand. Obviously older generations may not quite see the appeal of it but there's no difference really and I think in you know having a Frozen attraction and having Super Mario you know Mario or Pokemon you know all of these characters are huge and you know do big numbers so I definitely think Disney have got to keep an eye on this and they're also going to have to come back with the new areas now obviously at Animal Kingdom we've got the new Pandora Avatar area we have the new Star Wars lands being built in Hollywood Studios and in Disneyland and there's new Toy Story areas they're building new areas in Shanghai they're building new areas in all over the place but it's definitely interesting to see them kind of moving into the video game thing. And I think this is a great move for Universal. I personally would love to see it when it's been built and attract, you know, like I said, big Nintendo fan. But the thing is, it's going to hit Disney. They're going to have to hit hard. They're going to have to have plans in place to go after them. And hit. it's just, like I said, going to be a bit... Whether or not they go after things like Sega or stuff like that, I can't see them really doing it. But maybe we can see some more video game content. Maybe with Wreck-It Ralph, maybe they can kind of combat that a little bit and go after that bucks as well because they're going to want video games are just going to become a bigger and bigger part of just general sort of culture and you know you, we can definitely see that nowadays but anyway guys we'd love to know what you guys think how will the nintendo um announcement you know has are you excited about it are you not how do you think it's going to affect the disney parks love to know your thoughts on all of that anyway guys thank you very much for watching uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and i shall see you guys in a later video laters